morning good morning welcome to today's video um, it is a Saturday morning a gloomy Saturday actually I thought it was going to be a much better day today but um, it looks like the leaves are changing color and currently as I'm talking to you guys the leaves are literally falling it's almost like snow but it's like le it's leaves it is actually a little warmer today actually um, so I'm pretty uh, pleased with that. I am going mountain biking today. This is, we're at George Waldo State Park, and this is a new trail for me that I'm going to check out. Um, I am going solo here, um, so I do have the maps or the route loaded in my Wahoo, and so I'll be following that, but from the looks of it, when I checked out um, other people who have ridden this trail, um, I saw when I looked at pictures, it seems like it is a pretty doable trail. It is, um, there's two greens, I believe, and one blue uh, rated trail. So I believe the green ones are supposed to be the easier ones, which I am looking for my skill level. Um, I'm more of in the green, uh, green trail. And uh, I know that in Huntington, their single track blue trail was too rocky and too technical for me and that is not uh, i'm not really ready for for that yet as my skills are not honed in in on the mountain bike so i'm going to be uh doing some mountain biking today and hopefully it doesn't rain um and yeah let's get out there Morning. Morning. Oh, guys, so this is my first time riding this trail, and I think I just missed my turn, so I have to turn around. Okay, where's the. Sometimes it's hard to look at the Wahoo when riding on the trails because it's just trail dog. Technical. That was only the that was the only technical part of this trail. Don't hold my breath, right?
just got to make sure I go slow so I can react to these turns a little better, especially when they have rocks sticking out of the trail with pointy ends to them. Okay, so this, oh, I think I'm going to have to to walk, throwing me off, but I guess there's some little side trails around it that we can, that I can avoid. Helmet on and everything else, I'm okay. Ah, oh, jeez. I just gotta make sure that I just try not to attempt any of these rocky technical ascents because I'm just not very good at it yet. Over here. Oh, I'm just gonna get off the trail. Uh, still having trouble, guys. I think I'm just going to warm up a little bit or get used to riding on the trail here and then hop back on the single track because this is a fire road. I don't know if I have too much or little suspension or too much air pressure on my front tires, but super sketchy, especially if you don't know the trail very well. I'm trying to find the green trail. The thing three, I believe, is what it's called. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pause here and regroup for a sec. That's cool. Huh. So peaceful. I keep hearing sounds behind me. So you can actually see from a distance where a little bit of hint of light that's shining through it or shining to it so sun's coming out so guys i'm just not 100 percent confident in myself right now uh, in these trails since i don't really know it very well so i think it pays to know the trail uh, that you're riding through right now i don't really know where i'm going and i'm kind of frustrated because um i don't know i just feel like um, there's a lot in my skills that I need to improve on. So I'm going to try to look on my phone to see if I can find the green trail. That way I have some idea of where um, the easier trails are. And that way I can um, ride through those. But uh, it's only been like six minutes since I've been riding. And it's just been like, I, as you saw there, I uh, totally... Uh, wiped out on the trail where the rocky parts were um, just frustrating because I, I don't want to you know I do want to improve I don't want to regress on my on my on my skills or lack thereof so I'm gonna try at it again I guess this kind of goes with my what I was talking about yesterday uh, oh not yesterday my last video about fear and um, I think the uh, the, the fear right now for mountain biking is just falling and injuring myself. Uh, but I'm actually fine after I fell uh, on the rocks there. Nothing, nothing broken, no scratches or anything, no bleeding. But anyway, all right, let's go at it again. more pretty smooth but I don't know um, I guess I'm just letting the trail get to me Like this step. Just gonna go slow here. I can react a little better. Thank <laughs> you. 
Trust your body. It's the sharp turns that get to me. Like this here. Oh, that's not a sharp turn. Anytime I have to go between trees, that scares me. And then here, something is going on in my left pedal. Something's happening to my pedal. Or my crank, my left crank. Alright, so far so good. Just gotta go slow. Here's another one. Well, I had to cut that ride short. Um, I literally only did two miles and I think that fear of just falling again and crashing really got to me. And you guys saw how every time I approached a rocky section, I would immediately hop off the bike. I remember doing um, in Huntington and it's just frustrating because I'm letting that get to me and I'm pretty upset that you know that I was looking forward to doing this ride today and um, that ended up happening so I think maybe if I just keep trying and keep practicing at it um, just kind of go easy on some of these turns and some of these portions where it can be pretty rocky and um, I just have to find a better technique at tackling these rocky sections and also uh, find a better technique at tackling single track trails where it could be pretty dicey and you never know what is you don't really know what is coming up ahead of you because you're kind of focused on what's a few feet away from you and I just need to, um, I think in my mind, I am just, what I'm doing is I still have in the back of my mind 
confidence that I could get through some of these tricky sections and then once I actually see how tricky they are there's this like mind shift where something else kicks in and says no you can't do it and then I end up not being able to do it so I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to tackle these tricky sections and um, I have a lot of fear with a single track and you saw that I walked a lot of it and uh, so I just have to figure out a better way to tackle these these trails so that I can actually be I can gain my confidence back anyway um, it was a very short ride I really wanted to do more overall so anyway I don't want to, to to have that because I don't want to crash anymore so I'm just gonna cut the ride short it was about 30 minutes and <laughs> literally two miles so I I think I am going to I'm gonna go home and just kind of just kind of reflect on it and then ha think think about how I can move forward from this and because there's no point in just sulking in my <laughs> my failures I think I want I need to look back at the footage to see how I can be better at how I can improve my skills and if you know please let me know what I can do to improve my skills because I do want to get better at it and tomorrow though uh, I'm gonna go for a ride with Jason Jason's back on the bike and uh, I can't wait to to do that with him all right I'll see you guys